Hi everyone, welcome again. In the last video, we started the setup of a basic Spring application. In this video, we will continue on the same setup and uh, we will create a class and configure it as a Spring Bean. Then we will initialize the application context and then we will create the object of that class via application context in order to use that class. So let's start. In the last video, we saw that once we have the dependencies added to the pom.xml, in this case, there is a single dependency spring context. We can use the uh, application context class, which is coming from the spring dependencies. Now, application context is an interface. It doesn't have any implementation. So we need a concrete implementation. We gave the example of class path XML application context, which requires a configuration file in the form of XML, which has all the information related to beans uh, and their dependencies. And we also discussed in one of the videos that there are three ways basically to provide the configuration metadata to IOC container. One is via XML file. Second option is to use annotations and third option is to use Java based configuration. We can use any one of them. While XML is perfectly fine, but annotation driven or the Java based configuration is gaining more popularity than the basic XML configuration. So we will not cover the XML configuration. We will simply focus on the Java based and annotation based configuration. To use the annotation or the Java based configuration, we don't need this class, class path XML application context, but there is another class which we will use to initialize the application context. And that is annotation config application context. All right. Now, if we run the program, so we see program ran fine, but we don't see any output because there is nothing happening in this program. This is simply creating an application context using this class, but there is nothing. There is no configuration. There is no class. There is no Spring Bean that Spring can initialize. So what Spring did? It created an empty application context ioc container ran at that point of time but it has nothing so let's add a class and then we will configure it as a spring bean to do that let's first create a package And then we'll create a new class in this package. Let's name it request handler. And it will have a simple method to handle the incoming request. So we created a class in the new package request handler which has a simple method handle and right now this is printing a simple message on the console. Now that we have a class how do we configure it as a spring bean? How do we tell spring that you manage this class as a spring bean? To do that we will create another package. Let's name it config. So what we usually do, we create a config package and then we add a config file, let's say app config. And then we tag it with configuration at the rate configuration annotation. Now this add the rate configuration annotation is important because when we tag a class with add the rate configuration annotation, it is a hint to spring container or spring framework that this class will be used to provide the configuration metadata. Otherwise, in a project, spring has no idea which classes to manage, what all classes it needs to scan or to uh, create the objects. So we have to provide that information to spring and we do that in case of uh, Java based configuration, we do that by annotating a class at the rate configuration. 
so this class will be used by the spring container or the ioc container to find the appropriate or required information in order to scan the classes right now there is no class there is no bean but we simply created a class and annotated it with at the rate configuration all right now how do we tell spring that this class is a configuration class so if you go back to the runner what we do in the annotation config application context where we are creating the new application context we pass the class which we annotated with at the rate configuration so we will simply pass the app config class here in this way and let's run the same program again and this time as well we don't see anything but what is happening here now spring is referring to this class it knows that it will find the configuration metadata in this class and the application context is now based on this app config class let's move on so we have a class request handler in our application now how do we configure it as a spring bean so there are two ways to do that the first way is we have the app config class we use the add the rate bean annotation like this and then we simply write a method that will return a new object of request handler or or the class that we want spring to manage so request handler we name the method let's say request handler and then we create a new object like this we use add the rate bean annotation we write a method we use the add the rate bean annotation and then we return the object using new keyword and this method will be used by ioc container to create a new object of request handler at runtime when spring initializes the context it will find the add the rate configuration file from the main method then it will scan this class and find all the methods annotated with add the rate bean annotation and accordingly it will create the objects of all the spring beans now let's go back to the main method and see how can we use the ioc container to get the object of this class so we already initialized the application context using this class we passed the app config to this the next thing that we need to do is we simply need to call get bean method on the application context and we can pass the class type here like this request handler dot class it will return a new object of request handler class let's name it handler and after that we can use this object same as any other object so it has a simple method handle and we can call that method so what's happening here we created the application context then using that context we are getting the object of request handler class which we are saving or storing in a reference variable of type request handler and once we have the object we are simply calling or invoking a method on that object so let's run the program and this time we see i will do something which is the method implementation of handle so we successfully created a configuration file using add the rate configuration then we successfully configured a spring bean using add the rate bean annotation and then we got the instance of that bean using the application context and invoked a method on that object so that's how we set up a simple spring project that's how we give the configuration to a spring and that's how we configure the spring beans now there is one more way to configure a simple class as a spring bean which we will cover in the next video thanks for watching